Hello, um, I'm Shanika from Polvaya Pottery. Um, I just fired my kiln. Um, it was just for last firing. So it's um, 489 degrees at the moment. Uh, this is the controller that will be um, configured for the Chromatic 135. This one. I fired this kiln on the 6th, which was Sunday afternoon. Yes, Sunday afternoon. Uh, I have written records. So, um, I would like to teach you how to program this controller. It's a Bentrup uh, TC60. It's fully working and it has five programs. And um, I have last program, which is this one, which I just fired to 717 degrees. And um, I have uh, also two two biscuit programs and one or two glaze programs as well so yeah so let's put it here where my wheel is i will switch it off now let's switch it off this is where it is plugged and that the that is zone controller that means it's um it's more expensive type of um cable and um, heart in socket which will be changed by our engineer so uh, this will not be coming anymore because i will i might keep this one and so he will be putting new new um, heart in plug and sockets for the chromati 135 liter kiln which this controller i will have to put so um <coughs> if you would like to it's uh, as i said 489 5 degrees now so to um, press a program that's the program number three. You can see it says seven, uh, seven, one, seven. And there are nothing else. I wanted to, I wanted it to full fire at that temperature anyway. Um, so this is program number three, four, five, back to one, two, three, four, five, back to one. So we press program and then you press this button, which will mean the first ramp. Let's go back. Right, yeah, this this is um sorry, this is not first ramp, this is delay. If you would like to delay. And this is skip. I won't I don't want a controlled cooling. So skip. Second one. This is delay now. Did I get it right? Hopefully I got it right. <laughs> so um let's see. Press program again. Thousand degrees, which is maximum temperature, which will be the uh, the second button from the last. As you can see, thousand degrees is maximum de degrees mm, of temperature. And then press that button again, and that will say, oh, oh, sorry, that will be soaking now. So it will ask if you would like to be soaking this kiln at that top temperature of thousand uh, degrees. And the mm, the last one. Uh, controlled cooling no we don't i don't want controlled cooling and uh, now it is the delay so i don't really want delay at the moment so you can press up you see and down if you would like delay sometimes i do put delays when i really, when i um, want to go to bed and i would like to like, like the kiln to be starting about two o'clock in the morning so if if that is the case i would do a delay so um if you want a delay uh, oh that is 75 degrees this is the first ramp 75 degrees per hour the last button from here will be illuminated from um, the left it will be the second button okay and the top temperature of that first ramp would be 600 degrees celsius and this, this is the second ramp which will be 125 degrees you can make it higher or make it lower that is the temperature i fire my biscuit with us and then press this button again that's maximum temperature of thousand degrees and press that button again zero i don't want soaking if you can put soaking here <clears throat> excuse me press down not soaking and then that's finished once you do that as you can hear as you can hear, my contact of my kiln is so loud. <laughs> I can hear it upstairs. 
when it is on so it's on at the moment when it is on you will see this button illuminated and it will go up and up and once it finishes it will go this one will be illuminated okay it's a very simple program so to switch it off switch it off and um, program again if i go to program number two so press the forward arrow zero first lot is zero um let's see second one is skip which is um controlled cooling uh third one is the delay i don't want delay and the fourth press is 25 degrees i think this one is a drying program which i i said and fourth press is 300 degrees which is first ramp 25 degrees per hour it will go up to 300 degrees and then 30 degrees per hour second ramp is press the button again 350 degrees I set up this program because I wanted to dry some um, pots before I um, biscuit fired them. So and then the soaking was nothing. And then the co controlled cooling is nothing too. And that's it. Back to um, delay start and press the start button. It will come on again. And that was program number two. And program number three. Let's see. Oh, the program number three was my um, last firing. Program number four was, let's see, that's, the, that's my glaze firing which I fired the other day on the 6th of February 2022. Uh, so this was the top temperature of um, um, how much the kiln is going to be firing, how hot. And it will be soaking for 15 minutes. This is the exact temperature program I used on the 6th. 15 minutes it will be soaking. You can make it higher or make it lower and um, skip cooling you can make it cool ah oh i see yeah okay so i just need to press the down arrow button you can make it cool uh, cool um, controlled cooling in fact or just as you press that it will say skip that means it is not going to be controlled cooling uh, if you want it can control cooling for things like uh, crystal line firing so this can only be done at the end of the firing by the way this is not a um like a stafford that will cool or um, do a soaking at a certain temperature and then drop back down something like that this is this might not be suitable for glass i have not fired any glass in here at all so um the control cooling skip and the next next press button this one mm, next will be delay if you would like delay you press delay if you don't just press that button press that button again that's 150 degrees per hour first ramp it's going up to press that button again 600 degrees maximum so that will take uh, four hours four hours to re reach 600 degrees and the second ramp is press that button again 200 degrees and press that button again 1240 is the maximum temperature so from uh, 600 de degrees it will uh, start to jump up to 200 degrees per hour till it reaches top temperature of 1240 plus 15 minutes soak and that's it skip again and that's it and um, as you can hear just now it's started to hum this is my kiln um i'm going to have to use this this controller this one which i just showed you uh, for the chromati hobby not hobby day chromati 135 uh, five, um, liter workhorse kiln which will be going to my engineer tomorrow as you can hear the conductor this is fully working controller and also this will be checked by the engineer too but um, this is fully working I've been using the, this one for several years. Had absolutely no problem whatsoever. It's a wonderful kiln controller. I will switch it off. If you want to switch it off. That's the con contactor really loud as I said. Um, I hope you understand how to use this controller. Uh, unfortunately, there will be no instruction manuals. But you just need to get used to it. 
I didn't know how to use it before, but I just um, got used to it really just by um, using it. Thank you very much indeed. Bye bye.